uh, Jessica McBride. She is standing by. Uh, Jessica, as we've been talking this morning, there is a sixth victim tragically in the wake of that Christmas parade uh, incident. Uh, what can you tell us about this youngest of the victims? Well, his name is Jackson Sparks. He was a youth baseball player and tragically, horrifically, he was marching with his youth baseball team when he was struck with his brother. His brother's in the intensive care unit. He was also seriously injured, but Jackson, who's only eight years old, passed away yesterday afternoon. Um, he was described as a sweet boy with a contagious smile. This is a family that's a family very, you know, involved in their faith and their church community. So a lot of prayers going out for them in Waukesha County, but a horrific development yesterday. And we did see Daryl Lee Brooks, uh, a man with a very long rap sheet, appear in court for the first time yesterday. Uh, what can you tell us about that proceeding and what the next steps are? Well, right. So he appeared in court. He sobbed for much of it. Not that anyone cared or felt sorry for him. Um, we learned more about how intentional prosecutors and police say his actions were. So the criminal complaint was issued yesterday, and it described two detectives who heroically tried to stop his SUV, and, and they said that they believe this was an intentional act, that he accelerated toward the crowd, that he had an escape route, like he could have turned right and gotten out of the way of this, uh, out of the way of this parade. Instead, he chose to hit the gas, and they said they believed it was intentional, and he was zigzagging at one point. Absolutely horrific details. I will tell you, there's also growing outrage in Waukesha County over the fact that he was released on bail at all. Now, it was said at $5 million, that's a, that's a large bail amount. Right. But there was a protester. I'm at the courthouse now, and there was a protester earlier this morning who was had a sign that said he should have been released on no bail. And there are a lot of people saying that today. Jessica, just real quick, are, are people there concerned? that a left-wing organization uh, like, like Black Lives Matter, which does have a lot of money, I mean, they're, 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 they're funded through uh, a variety of, of left -wing, other left-wing groups, that they could, in fact, try to post, post bail or other, uh, other folks try to post bail for him? Well, there was a very prominent Milwaukee Black Lives Matter activist who came to the scene of the parade tragedy. He's on live stream video and he started talking about this is possibly the beginning of a revolution. That's so right. you actually had Black Lives Matter activists who were saying very appalling and shocking things. I think you're right. The concern would be if somebody else comes up with this money. This man is indigent. He has a public defender. So I don't think anyone thinks he can come up with $5 million. Right. But this court commissioner did have the option to have no bail. Yeah. And he chose to to go the other direction. Yeah, they shouldn't have set bail for him, uh, but uh, but they have, and mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. Thank you, Jessica McBride, for for all of your work and oh. keeping us up to speed this morning. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel, now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.